The family that prays together stays together. Welcome to today's reflection. My name is Isaiah Collins. I'm a seminarian of the Congregation of Holy Cross. And uh, I'm here to give you a reflection on the readings of the 12th Sunday of Ordinary Time, which is the day today. The first reading comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 10 to 13. The second reading comes from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 5, verse 12 to 15. And the gospel comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28 to 33. In the first reading, Jeremiah recognizes the plots that were being made against him by the people. People are planning to take so-called vengeance on him. And thus, taking courage, he talks to God and he decided to resign his will to God. In the second reading, we get to hear St. Paul telling us that through one man, sin came to the earth, and through sin, death came to mankind. And he continues to tell us that through the grace of God, we can overcome this sin and we can overcome this death to attain eternal life. In the Gospel, uh, Christ encourages us that uh, we should have no fear, and we should have the courage to acknowledge him in front of other people, and also at the same time, he will acknowledge us in front of the Father when our time comes to enter into the eternal kingdom. And the main theme uh, that comes uh, through talking about these readings is uh, the virtue of courage. We should never wither in terms of having our faith. We should never fear when we have faith in God because uh, as Christ tells us uh, in the gospel of today that uh, we should, we, should have, we should acknowledge him in front of other people. And uh, we should always never fear. We should have no fear. Meaning that if we, attain, if we attest that Christ is in us, and he is the one who gave us life, and he is the one who will raise us upon our passing from this world, we should fear no one. Because he tells us we should, fear, we should not fear those who kill only the body, but should, we should fear those who kill body and soul. And thus, having that confidence that God is always behind us, and having that confidence that Christ, even if they kill our body, we shall resurrect and we shall live with Christ forever. We should never fear anything on earth. For this life we have on earth is just a temporary life, which is a preparation for the greater things that are above. And this encourages us that we should never fear martyrdom. Martyrdom, as the church calls it, baptism by blood. In fact, uh, gives us a shortcut to enter the kingdom of God. And thus, uh, having known that we should always have courage and that we should never fear anything that can harm our body but can never harm our souls, we should thus be encouraged to be strong in the faith and uh, always uh, fight for the kingdom of God. A world at prayer is a world at peace.